artists in general are capable of showing the paradoxes, but also adding towards possible solutions. What we are as humans and especially what we can become. During the lockdown period, I mean, truly everything became mine. If you were thinking about every move that you were going to make, you wouldn't make a damn thing. I created this body of work the day that I understood how to be happy, how to deal with the negativity, the thoughts that come into one's head. You get to points where you have what the Buddhists call like no thought. I like this fullness, this generosity, this sensuality that you communicate because you know the reality is rather dry. We are really interested in the holes that we find in historical narratives. We're engaging in, in the process of de erasure. I'm not interested in portraying black people as victims. Caucasian people have covered that over the last 400 years. There are many histories, there's a plurality of histories. So this is a whole process that has to do with transformation. We can use history also to think about the future. What's the purest thing I can do is to be nude. If somebody finds it controversial just for the sake of being controversial, yeah, then you should talk about that. It's okay to show a white woman their breast. That is artiste in action. But to show a naked black male in particular, one is considered to be taboo and the other is somehow high art. In many ways, colonization has been the hand for climate change. As a human being, per definition, you're a burden uh, to nature. Even the most green uh, saints, the way we consume and live, we just use way too much. We're so interconnected with our relationships to water for survival. And that's not just the human beings, but it's you know, everyone that's sharing space on, on Mother Earth. You have the sound, the singing, an incantation of Yimoja, who is the god of the sea, who is the god that actually helped the people through the Middle Passage. The soundscapes are ocean tides and the breath of the sea is seeing the ocean through a cultural and spiritual lens. Barclay doesn't paint a closed off narrative. Barclay paints something that's open. Because it's not always about the answers. It's not that uh, my, my projects give the answer. My projects, they stimulate people for a dialogue or to think about what's really happening and what's really the problem. It's more of an approach of making art that doesn't have mediation. When you talk about what you see in this painting, it helps me understand you a little more and it broadens my world a little bit. Back to the Andy Warhol thing, if everyone isn't beautiful, then no one is. I was saying, if everything isn't beautiful, then nothing is. In Jamaica, we have a motto which says, out of many, we are one. All of these pieces, I think, speak to that. We also have the chance to investigate how we can become more human, revalue what it is to be human, like inner connection, our solidarity, creativeness. Oh.